Hi, welcome to my video. Uh, in it, I'm going to show you one of the VPN providers I use and maybe let's talk a little bit about the types of things you can do with a VPN. Um, there is some variation in what's available. Um, VPNs, as opposed to proxies, uh, work specifically on your entire connection. So um, that every single thing you do on your PC will be tunneled down that VPN and encrypted. There are some more sophisticated programs that use something called SSH, um, which are very similar in some levels in that they encrypt your data, but they do allow more control. So you can specify individual applications. So you could <coughs> encrypt um, a single browser, for instance, and leave another one unencrypted. Or if you're using to get past geolocation, you can use um, you can use it in some instances and then leave the rest of your PC or um, connection not routed through through the uh, VPN server. Uh, I'm just going to show you a quick example of how it works um, very quickly. Um, here's a South Park video. I'm in the UK at the moment and uh, I'm trying to access this on Hulu. Um, I'll get this error here. Okay, it's it's looked up my IP address. It says I'm in the United States, and um, then I can't. I, I'm not allowed to access it. Okay, so you get this message. Um, so what I have to do is to fool it into being thinking I am in the United States. So I'm going to just close it, and I'll show you my uh, program I use. It's called Identity Cloaker. Okay, so it's it's virtually the same as a virtual private network, um, but it's, it encrypts the connection, but because it's an SSH lock-in and it's got very secure, um, sophisticated software behind it, you can do things like this. Um, you can specify which browser you want to encrypt. You can get it to encrypt certain of your um, messenger applications, or you can get it to encrypt your email. <coughs> so basically anything that you specify in here, you can use the tunnel, anything else works normally. Okay, so it's great sometimes when you um, want to specify a certain location. So let me give you an example here of I wanted to watch Hulu. Um, I would go down in Identity Cloaker and select a US um, server to connect to. This will give me a US IP address and I'll connect through it. There we are, just turn that off. <coughs> so I've now got a US IP address. So if I start my browser now, I should be able to access Hulu. But, of course, I don't want everything to go down there. I don't particularly want my email routed through this US server. I may want my normal search results to just stay as um, UK-based. Uh, for instance, if I'm searching for a plumber, I don't want to find one in Texas when I'm in uh, North Manchester. So, the, you can configure that all like this. Let me just show you the... Uh, um, Access now, we'll go back to the South Park page and um, here we'll go to this video we tried to watch before. Uh, before it said, um, oh right, okay, I need to log in because South Park's uh, for mature audiences. Let me see you, see you another one. Uh, family Guy? Could be the same actually. We just access. Well, you can see this start. I mean, I'm not getting the um, you're not in the America because I've now connected with a US IP address and I can watch this program as if I was an American. Okay, okay, so that's uh, identical. There's a discount code that should appear on the screen somewhere. Um, it's very easy to use. It is much more sophisticated than a basic VPN. So you can use it when you're traveling to encrypt a browser just for accessing your um, home banking, for instance, and then leave the rest unencrypted and exactly the same for when you just want to um, search information as normal. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'll finish now, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.